All right, so a customer sent me his 3DS XL and there's an issue with it. He also sent me this SD card. It turns out that it just powers on and doesn't do anything or something like that. He got it working once, but just crashed. So he paid me a hundred bucks for a board change and for me to mod it and upgrade it. So we'll see here because this does not turn on. Let me see if it has custom firmware, just to make sure. Really weird. It just does not do anything. So this, I'm guessing, is a board damage or something like that. Let me just try to press select and see if it does anything here. Oh, screen's lit on. But it's not because of the select, it can't be. And it turned on. Error has occurred. Okay. Hold the power button. But I'm guessing if I'm able to figure this out, then you know why change the board. But that's really weird. Could it be like uh, maybe a wire is disconnected, like the internet wire or something like that? I've actually never seen this before. But okay, let me try a another way. If I'm able to factory reset it. If this doesn't work. Oh, it just crashed. Wait, maybe it's up. Maybe I need to press up. One pressing left, right, A. And up. Or was it also start? Oh, I can't remember now. Was it also start? No, it can't be. But this is so weird. Never seen this issue. Come on, okay. Let's see if it does anything. It doesn't power on. You know what, let's try to plug in all the cables again or something like that. Yeah, to turn it on and off, it takes too long. If I'm able to take the back off and just unplug and replug the battery. Okay. Uh, yeah, what was the plan again? To... Now let's try to press start. Instead, do anything. Okay, it turns on now. Let, let's see if it works if I don't do anything. Because if there's like a wire that's loose, if I'm now just really careful with what I do, don't move it around. Okay, what if I now? Nothing. What if I now do this? Or what if I do this? What if I do this? What if I do that? What if I do that? Interesting. Let's try to format system memory. I mean, he wants a board change, so he's aware everything will be deleted anyway. Let's just make sure that this board is dead. Because I don't really want to throw away a maybe working board, you know? Mm. Yeah, I did it again. Yeah, I'm guessing it's something with the motherboard. Anyway, let's change the motherboard. Won't be able to do anything else, I think. I mean, he paid for a motherboard change. 
Let's change it if it works as it should. Oh. After the motherboard change, then, uh, then, what then? Then good. If it still doesn't, then there's a deeper problem, which would suck because I think I told the customer a board repair would work because it should work. Cause like, it doesn't look like there's a wire. You saw me twist it around and everything and it still worked. But then after some while, maybe it's a, I don't know. That's really weird. Let's look at this. So, boom, boom. Should I just go straight on with the board change? Let's do it. Let just take out the old one. No time to waste. Really weird problem though. Never ever seen that before. Never. Got anything? Let's see here. I'll have to use this since I'm only repa replacing the board. Boom. Old board is out. Now let me just go find a new one. Alrighty. Introducing Mr. My Top Screen is defective. So. Let's get this thing apart. And I'm basically just gonna take the motherboard from the other one and put it in this one and just sell this one as defective. Cause this is like one of my part, part Game Boys or not Game Boys, 3DSs. I basically take parts out of it when I need it. And most of the time the motherboards on these are working as they should. So hopefully this motherboard also works as it should. We'll see though. No guarantees, but I have many of these, so that's not an issue. Okay. Let's see here, just to make sure that the motherboard is fine. Just need to make sure that everything on this board is fine. No damage, no nothing. This could be also a defective motherboard. I don't know yet. If it is, I'll probably not keep that part in the video though. So don't worry. If it works, it's in the video. If it doesn't, it's not. I'm also going to mod it since this is a Japanese motherboard. Yeah, I mean, he also wanted it modded, so that's not a problem. Okay, so I just noticed that one of the screws was different. I guess, I guess I've opened this before. I'm actually going to start, I have so many defective 3DS's, 3DS XL's and all that. I'm going to try to change the top screen. I ordered some top screens, but the thing is they are so hard to fix. They're so hard. I have tried and thing is now, if I'm 
even if I spend like three hours on one, if I'm able to repair it, that's like so much profit. So it's worth it. Three hours for one 3DS XL, it's worth it. Yeah, if I'm able to fix it. So let's see here. Do I have my tweezers? Yes, I do. Now for the interesting part. Let's see here. No cables get left behind. These need to come out. Come on, buddies. Come on. These need to come out. These I'll have to put back in later, at a, at a later time. Boom. Come on. That's good, that's good. Okay. Now I also need to be really careful with the top screen and ribbon, ca ribbon cable. Now that I think about it, did he even pay me to for a modded one? I actually can't remember. Let me just make sure that this cable is in all the way. Can't really do that on camera. There we go. I'll have to double check if you paid for a modded one. Because he asked for, for me to install a chop and Twilight, but I can't remember if he actually paid me for a... For the mod. It's been a while, you know, I can't really remember everything. Why do you not want to go in? What is your issue? Come on. Come on. What, what's your problem? Okay, that's interesting. Okay. So, let me just plug in these bottom cables. Hopefully. It was just the top screen. No, not the top screen, the, the motherboard. Because the hardest thing, as I already said, to replace on this is the top screen. And I mean, it can't be the top screen. It can't be because it would have crashed. It wouldn't even have booted and the top screen looked fine. What could be is like one of the antennas or something like that. They don't work properly or something. Okay. Boom. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's try to boot it and see what happens. Oh. Really? What? Really? Oh, it's the old battery. Started worrying there for a second. Okay, boot. Did I plug in the, yes. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. 
Okay, let's see here. Does it just crash? I don't know. Yeah, it's supposed to do that. Don't mind that because I didn't attach the joystick. factory reset it just to make sure because it also has parental controls oh yeah it has parental controls I'll have to remove those yeah I won't be able to do anything yeah okay so not sure but it looks to be working so what I'll do now I'll put it back together what was that? Okay. I'm just looking at it from a weird angle, so I'm guessing the backlight just turned on and off for a second. I'm guessing that's not a problem. I guess that's normal, I should say. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, wait. Uh oh. Yes, almost put in the wrong joystick. And I'm guessing that joystick that I was holding is defective because uh, it's a defective Game Boy. And as I said, I'm using parts from them. So that could have been a <clears throat> defective joystick that I almost put in. So, boom, boom, now all of the screws, I didn't forget any wires right now, now everything worked, just not the joystick. Yeah, everything looks good, so no problem. Boom. Put these in. Where's the back? The back is right there. Okay. Right there, I mean. One. Two. Now all of the screws. Back pain is starting to come. Those are not the right screws. From serrating in a weird way. Should I also show me modding it? No, I'll make another video for that. I'll just show you guys because I, I feel like this is gonna be too long if I do that. I'll just throw up the link to that video in the end if y'all want to see a part two, or not a part two, but basically where I mod it. Uh, where is the cover? Where did I put the cover? There it is, right in front of my eyes. Super Smash Bros. Edition. Really cool, really cool. I actually thought this guy sent me it to region change or something like that because I have had multiple of those in the past, but nope, just a motherboard change. Yeah, 
So now this thing should be working. I'll just test everything. Or 3D will not work right now because it's a uh, modded one. Or it's a uh, Japanese one that is locked. Yeah. So, the one thing I will do right now is to double check that he paid for modding. And yeah, let me just check that. Yeah, so I mentioned that it will be modded, so it will be modded. So I'll mod it right now, and I'll make a video on that, and I'll be right back when it's modded. Yeah, and boom, it is done. Everything is installed, everything works as it should, modded, and yeah, ready to be sent back to the customer. That's it, thank you guys for watching. Like, just like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.